Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So we now found the equivalent um, UDL for shape one. We now need to move on to shape two and shape three. So for shape two, we have a triangle, which is 10 meters by five meters high. So it's the exact same formula as before. before. It's two thirds of W max. So what we do is we work out the area load to be 16.8 times by the height, which is five meters. And we need to multiply that by two divide three to give us 56 kilonewtons per meter. So this equivalent rectangular load along our triangle is 56 kilonewtons per meter. Now shape three is this trapezium here. It's 10 meters and four meters high. So 10 meters and four meters high. Now the formula for trapezium to work out the equivalent UDL is W equals W max outside of one minus four little L squared on three big L squared. Now, big L squared is the total span of 10 meters. Little L is the distance from the corner to where it hits W max. So this distance from there to there, okay? Now, because every, every time we took a, every time we went out from our slab, it's at 45 degrees. So these were all 45 degree angles. So that angle there is 45 degrees. That would be a right angle, which means that angle there would be 45 as well. So this is an isosceles triangle with this side equal to this side. So the little L will always just be the height of the trapezium because it's that is equal to that. That height is four, which means that little L is four as well. So it's pretty simple to find. So just calculating it now, we're going to be doing subbing in for little L and big L. Little L is four, big L is 10. The W max is still the same. It's the area load, the 16.8 by the height. So working this out, Let's do inside here first. It's going to be four by four squared divided by three by 10 squared. One minus that answer. And we're going to be multiplying by 16.8 by four, which gives us around 52.9 kilonewtons per meter, rounding up. So we've now found all the UDLs caused by the floor loading. So this was the floor loading.